Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. I already have problems with this game, um, and I haven't even started it. Uh, this is the only mainline Zelda game that I haven't really played. Um, uh, like I had Link to the Past as a kid, Link's Awakening, the Oracle games, uh, Minish Cap, I love Minish Cap, that's one of my favourites. Uh, Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass where it tracks. Uh, I've, I've pretty much played everything else, but this one, like, I had a Wii, but I didn't have a Wii Motion Plus, so I couldn't play this. Uh, you don't need special hardware on the Switch, you just need regular Joy-Cons, and I think you can play with non-Joy, like, without motion control as well, so... I think. I'm not super sure how it works. Uh, but, yeah, uh, like, this can be now be played without needing special hardware beyond the console, so I'm gonna have a look. Uh, however... As I said, I do already have problems with this game, even before we start it. Uh, and you can see them right there in the thumbnail, and also on the box art. Link is holding the Master Sword, or the Skyward Sword, or I forget what the sword in this game is called. I think it's the Master Sword, in their right hand. Uh, Link is left-handed. Link is famously a left-handed character. But in this game, because... You know, you, hold, you control the sword directly, like it's a one-to-one -one mapping between the sword and the controller in your hand. Nintendo elected to make Link right-handed in this game because most people playing the game are right-handed. But not everyone. There are plenty of people who are not right-handed, uh, people who are left-handed and would prefer to hold the sword in their left hand. But in neither this version of the game, nor the original Wii version, was there any way to support that. To let people who were left-handed, like Link, play the game in a way that was more comfortable for them. And there's no reason for that, and they should have fixed that in this game, but they didn't. They did not fix that at all. So... I already am recommending you don't buy this because I'm pissed at Nintendo. I didn't buy this. Uh, this copy of the game uh, belongs to one of my housemates who is a bit, uh, I guess, less miffed at Nintendo than I am. <laughs> uh. Is that Japanese? Was that like actual Japanese voice, voice acting? Okay, there was no voice acting for that part. One dark, fateful day, the earth cracked wide and malevolent forces rushed forth from the fissure. Fissure. They mounted a brutal assault upon the surface people, driving the land into deep despair. They burnt forests to ash, choked the land's sweet springs, and murdered without hesitation. I think you can skip the cutscenes, but also, as I said, I've never really played this game, so I kind of want to see them. They did this, all this in their lust to take the ultimate power protected by her grace, the goddess. So, Helia? The goddess Helia, I think? The power she guarded was without equal, because, like, there's actually three goddesses, Din, Nehru, and Feroa. Handed down by gods of old, this power gave its holder the means to make any desire a reality. Those the Triforce? Such was the might of the ultimate power that the Old Ones placed it in the care of the Goddess. It's the Triforce, right? You can say Triforce. Prevent this great power from falling into the hands of the evil swarming the lands. The Goddess gathered the surviving humans on an outcropping of Earth. Okay. She sent it skyward, beyond the reach of the demonic hordes, beyond even the clouds. With the humans safe, the goddess joined forces with the land dwellers and fought the evil forces, sealing them away. At last, peace was restored to the surface. Alright.
This is the tale that you humans have told for many gener many ages, generation to generation. Okay, I'm pretty sure Killians are not human. Like they have like elvish features. There are other legends long hidden from memory below. A new legend bound to this great story stands ready to be revealed. A legend will be forged by your own hand. Okay. Oh, that, that wasn't actually the start of the game? Okay, I figured it was like in Breath of the Wild where it immediately begins a new game. But it's giving me a title screen, which is interesting. Okay. Point the Joy-Con at the screen and press Y. Okay, so, uh... For some reason they decided I needed to have a pointer, like in a Wii game. I don't think I needed one, but go off, I guess. Uh, the, the Switch doesn't have, like, a sensor bar the way the Wii did. But the Joy-Cons are smart enough at sensing that usually you don't need one. So, it should work out okay. Obviously my character's name is Link, it's a Zelda game. Oh. Uh, hello. All right then. Say so. Nintendo presents. The Legend of Zelda. Skyward Sword. Okay, we got a bird. We got another bird. Nom, nom, nom. That singing definitely sounded like Japanese. That'd be pretty neat if it was using, like, original Japanese voice acting. That'd be pretty cool. There's... there's Link. There's Link, who is left-handed. Oh. Oh no! Oh? What's happening? Rise, Link. The time has come for you to awaken. You're fated to have a hand in a great destiny and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken. Link. Bird at my window. Oh, I guess I got a letter. Hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine, Link. Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts, remember? 
You better not keep me waiting. Zelda. Okay. Uh, so we can look around with the right stick. You couldn't really do that in the original because the Wii only had one analog stick on in most cases. Uh, I'm going to have a quick look at the options here. Uh, don't use Amiibo. Camera speed. Screen display? Oh, I can do it to simple. So yeah, um, this would be a great place to change Link's handedness, but you can't, because that's not an option. Uh, yeah, there are button-only controls, uh, which you can use instead of motion controls. You, you couldn't do that in the original, uh, so that is a good addition. But this is a bad addition, we'll be talking about that later. <laughs> so yeah, um, one thing that struck me as odd with this game, uh, I did, like, have a little look at it on the Wii. It takes a very long time before Link actually gets a sword, uh, compared to, like, most other Zelda games, and because like the fact that you can control the sword with the Wii mode is a big draw of this game, it's so weird to like delay you so long before you get the sword. Found a blue rupee, it's worth five rupees, better drop it in your wallet for now. Oh yeah, this game uh, introduced the stamina system that uh, later became a very major part in Breath of the Wild. In this game, it's kind of an unpolished sort of idea that they ended up making a big thing in Breath of the Wild. So you have running along by holding the B button, which uses your stamina. You can climb some things, but not everything. Uh, and I don't know if there's actually a way to upgrade your stamina. Uh, as, as I've mentioned, I didn't really play very much of this game, so I'm not sure. Hey. Link! If you're heading over to the plaza, the quickest way is out the door on the ground floor. The exit on the top floor is still locked, so you obviously can't get out there. It's taking the lunch lady so long. I'm gonna have a word with her later. Okay. Notice I also started with six hearts? That's very unusual. Uh, in most Zelda games, you start with three hearts. Oh, this is a restroom? Okay, I, I don't know how to get out of this building. I can do anything in here? I can sit. Fabulous. Pooping Simulator 2021. Clean hands or happy hands? Yeah, how do I wash my hands? Keep it squeaky clean in here. Ugh. <sighs> I'm going to at least play until we have access to the sword, because it takes longer than you'd expect. Okay, here's the way out. Bye, Loft. Hey Link, up here. Yo. Good morning to you, Link. Today's finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered. There's something I'd like to ask you about. Target me. Have a quick chat. Aim at your target and hold ZL. So every 3D Zelda game basically does this. Um, it was called Z targeting in the original game, then L targeting, and now I assume it's called ZL targeting. <laughs> Excellent. Or them you can target someone to talk to them easily. Even when there isn't anything to target, it's a convenient way to quickly face your view forward. Oh, but it's a little silly to carry on a conversation from this distance. Why don't you come join me up here? Alright. You should be able to climb up if you dash up to the top of that wooden box, don't you think? And you can make that jump fairly easily. Try climbing up here. So yeah, there's a rudimentary climbing system in this game. You can see I can't really climb up there, but I can climb up here. Yo. 
So what are you up to? Rushing to get some last minute bird riding practice in the morning, in this morning, Link? In this morning, Link? Oh, you have someone to meet. Ah, Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Gapora, has a pet named Mia. I think I would probably already know this because I'm good friends with Zelda. Uh, and well, she's scampered off again. Look. Over there, do you see her? How on earth are you seeing her from this angle? The headmaster is so busy working with Zelda preparing for the ceremony. I thought that maybe I should feed her, but the ceremony is about to start and I just put on a fresh set of clothes and well, you see... Will you help me out and go retrieve Mia for me? Uh... Yeah, I don't know why they bothered to use a, use a pointer here. You can literally just use the D-pad instead. Not the D-pad, the analog stick. The D-pad doesn't work, actually. No, I'm on it. Ooh. Fantastic. So you'll do it? I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you taking the time to help. You should be able to climb up somewhere over there. If you hang off that ledge there, you can climb onto the roof from the other side. Terribly sorry, but I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. So yeah, this is a climbing tutorial, uh, because <laughs> climbing was a major part of the game. And it's got obnoxious motion controls because this, this was a Wii game. You'll notice that when Breath of the Wild does roughly the same thing, you actually press a button to jump instead of waving your, non your Joy-Cons around wildly. Uh, that sort of gives you an idea of the difference between the two games. And yeah, a lot of stuff in this game just uses the stamina bar, but no one really cares. <laughs> there we go. Hello. Where the heck are you? Like a... Like a raccoon fennec sort of thing? I got your raccoon fennec sort of thing. Nice work, you brought her back safe and sound. I'm sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're busy, Link. I suppose you should feed Mia now. Please, tell the headmaster that we found his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. I believe Zelda is there with him, so you should hurry along. Oh yes, I should give you a reward. It's not much, but please take this. Uh, don't tell the others. You got a red rupee, it's worth 20 rupees. Don't spend it all in one place. I feel like it should really make the don't spend it all in one place joke when you get a green rupee. I think that's the best time to, to use that line. I believe this is a save statue? Yep. Again, I don't understand what the point of having the gyroscope here is. What, what does it achieve? I know the original had that, but you don't you don't need it and it doesn't add anything to the game. You got a stamina fruit. This peculiar fruit plunges your stamina gauge. I, I think it's like a rush room sort of. Okay, that's Zelda. Oh, youth. She's, she's singing. O oh, youth, guarded by the goddess, servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky, bring light to the land. <laughs> hey, good morning, Link. I'm glad to see my loft wing got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> but look at this instrument, and look at this outfit! They're mine to use today in the ceremony since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Did, do you know how to play a harp? Did you have your own harp? Have you been practicing? Or did they just give you one right now, today, that you just have to learn immediately? 
Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. It sounds gorgeous too. I asked father about it. He says it's called a harp. It is called- so, okay. Evidently you don't have your own harp. How, how did you learn to play the harp this quickly? <laughs> and look at these clothes! I made this wrap myself. We get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm gonna make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Link. Uh, I'm pretty sure, like, didn't, isn't your dad around here somewhere? Wouldn't he have seen you first? So, how do I look? Uh, again, w what is the point of the... Like, you don't, you don't need this. Look great. Ha, huh, I think so too, but it's nice to know you agree. Thanks, Link. Ah, there you are, Zelda. You all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, father in blue. <laughs> ah, Link, you're here too. Outstanding. Encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. Mm. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda. So give it your best out there. Yes. About that. Father, I don't know if he can do it. E. <sighs> Recently, Link hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when they're out riding their loft wing, they're just lazily gliding around. Probably daydreaming. I don't know what they're thinking. They're gonna have to be in perfect control of their bird to win today. Link, Link is explicitly supposed to be like a gender neutral character so the player can identify with them. Like, Nintendo have said this. And then they write lines like that, and it's just like, did, did you forget what you were doing? <sighs> no need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as their bond to their, to their bird. Victory will not come easily. That clearly should say that they instead of his. Like, it's very clearly not talking about a specific person. It should say there instead of his. Come on. And as you pointed out, I haven't seen them practicing as hard as some of the other students. You've known them since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about them. You see, Link and their loft wing share a special connection. I haven't seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We were only made whole by our loft wings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. Yeah. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Yeah, this is really blatant, like, exposition here. You're saying, as you know, this stuff that the player doesn't know. This is, you know, this... As I'm sure you recall, this stuff that the player doesn't know, it's it's very, it's very cheesy. <laughs> uh, I'm adjusting my uh, wrist straps, by the way. That's what, what's happening right now. Because I want to take my jacket off. And that means not attaching my wrist straps to my jacket, which is what I did. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, but for that first meeting between Link and their loft wing was extraordinary. Oh, I think I got them twisted up, maybe. Yes. That's better. The bird that came to them was a crimson loftwing. It is a breed so rare we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. Alright. Yes. And the child and their bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Again, Link is supposed to be a gender-neutral character. Like, that that that's why they've, like, designed to... Like, look sort of androgynous, sort of. That's also why they had pink hair in Link to the Past, which is still one of the best games. Um, but Nintendo don't write... They don't seem to actually put that into the writing, ever. Do you recall when Link and that Loftwing of theirs first met? What a sight. A little child just hopped up on that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, envious. How envious you were that day, not jealous. 
I'd say the friendship they shared with their bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. I'm just nitpicking a lot, aren't I? <laughs> okay. Ain't you okay there, Link? Ah, uh, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Link and their birds. See, envious, I was right. Anyone who's a part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. Hoo hoo. <laughs> this contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. This ceremony is part of the final test for those training to become Knights of Skyloft. If Link doesn't fly fast enough during the race... What if Link messes up their big chance? What if they're not allowed to become a knight? Ooh. Calm down, my dear. It will be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about Link. Hey. Listen, Link, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. Huh? Come on, you'll thank me later. Oh, uh, okay. Here we are. Go on now. Jump off the edge and call your loft wing. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Off you go! Okay, Link, go ahead. Just press down and call your loft wing. Hmm. That bird sure is taking a long time to get here. <laughs> Something's wrong. Hang in there, Link. I've got you. Are you two all right? Sorry friend, I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? This is very odd, Link, if it could possibly have happened to your loft wing. For a bird to ignore the call of their master. It's unheard of. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh Link? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Link, when you said you couldn't sense your loft wing, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. I need to tend to my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird has gone. Alright. My, how did it get to be so late? If you recall correctly, this year Instructor Horwell is presiding over the ceremony. Link, you should go explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race a little so you can find your bird. <laughs> but Father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Link asks Instructor Horwell, he'll probably just come talk to you about it. Ah, uh, quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. Very well, I'll explain the situation to him myself. Link, run along and tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. Alright. Couldn't, couldn't I just go look for my bird and you could go talk to Instructor Horwell? Alright, whatever. Oops. What's your step there? You can't always depend on knights like me to swoop in and save you. Yeah. Uh, thanks.
Wasn't Horwell over here somewhere? Like by the stairs, maybe? I think, I think. I think maybe he was just here somewhere. Was it this guy? No, that's Pippet. Um. I forget who Inspector Horwell is. Oh, I went to the restroom by accident again. Please skip. <sighs> I think you might be over here. At the place with the light. Oh. You got a rec you got a heart. This item's life-giving energy restores one heart of life. I guess that checks out. Can be here somewhere. Gates here, what is the point? Okay, I think I want to go back this way. Wait, was this is this person Horwell? I don't remember anyone's names. Who are you? Are you Horwell? Yes. What's wrong, Link? Looking a little pale. What? The loft wing is missing? How strange and troubling. Do you think you can find him? You gonna start looking for him now? How will you make it back in time to fly in the ceremony? Looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on feather or not you can find that bird on time. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. I see. So the headmaster has summoned me? Alright then, I'll go speak with him immediately. I still owe you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your loft wing. Okay, where should I look? Uh, uh, where should I look? I, I have no idea where, where a loft wing would be. Maybe up here somewhere? I'm going to tell this guy that I told the other guy the thing. Don't worry, Link. I'll be sure to explain your predicament to Instructor Horwell. Go find him and ask him to meet me in my quarters. I did. Some of the other students about your bird. I seem to recall a few of them were gathered near the plaza. Where's the plaza? South of Skylar posted the X marks of the plaza. We hung in the ceremony there today. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, so, this direction. I don't know what this bush is rustling because of that bug. I think I'm going the wrong way. Get the feeling this is the wrong way. Treasure chest. That's, that's cool. Open. Rupee, that's that's something. If I jump off, it'll take me back to where they were, right? Like the main area or whatever. No, this is exactly where I fell off, so that didn't help me at all. I'm hoping it'd take me like, to where I need to be rather than just exactly where I was. Okay, I think I need to go this way. Let 
can grab onto this. Seems like having this uh, place flying in the sky is just an obviously bad idea. Okay, I'm back up here again. <sighs> I don't know how long this video is going to be. I wanted to go at least far enough to get the sword, but I have no idea how long that's going to take. Okay, so we want to go to the plaza. Can you help me opening this gate? What's happening? Is something wrong? What's the big hurry? What? Your Loftwing is missing? I just saw him. Groose's bird was chasing him after your feathered fella. Oh, Groose and his little cronies were saying they were headed down to the wing ceremony in the plaza. So my guess is they might be in the plaza. Normally the fastest way there is just down this path. This gate here still needs some work before it'll open. Can you go around through the academy? Remember to check the map with Minus if you get lost. Uh, okay, so I want to go... Down there? Okay, we still want to keep going further south. This way? I didn't bother to put like a mini map in the game, that would have made sense. Oh well. You know, Groose, that sure was a pain, not with all the scratching and pecking. Of course it was, you thought a big crimson loft wing like that was gonna go down without a fight? But we got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be, he's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. <laughs> Whoa, Link, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> just how long you've been standing there. What's your problem, anyway? Oh, wait, I got it. You talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading, oh, Groose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> Well, sorry, pal. Bruce doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice, work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Hey, come to think of it. How come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. You think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Nice hair. You lay off my dude right now or I'll flatten you. Everyone knows I've got the slickest pompadour in town. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. I never talk. What's, what are you talking about? You've been friends since you were kids? Big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. I mean, don't we all? We, li we live in Skyloft. Would you wake up, straighten up and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Groose? Oh. oh. Zelda, hey, nah, it's, uh... <laughs> Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking on Link again, aren't you? You're a student at the academy, like all of us. What is this, like, mean girl shit? It's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you insist on bullying in the round so much? Yeah, I suppose. Mm -hmm. You suppose? Suppose what? 
I suppose you, uh... Forget it, I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Link. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback toward knighthood, so find that bird or get ready all used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. There they go. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Loftwing's disappearance. Yeah, yeah they did. Link, those guys aren't gonna help us find your bird, so we better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he talked to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry, we'll find your bird in time. The game's sort of leaving me to do, like, without telling me what to do quite a lot. It's a bit weird. Can I go up here? I don't know, I'm just guessing. Mm, doesn't look like that's relevant. Can read this thing? Let sound the goddess's song never, but I think that's something to do with getting the sword, but I can't do it yet. You're fine. <laughs> Looking for a heart rather than rupees, but I don't know if any of these have that. You've got a green rupee. It's worth just one rupee, so collect lots of them. Hey, do you know what to do now? What's wrong, Link? What, your loft wing is... missing? That's terrible, I was looking forward to seeing that red blow streak through the sky. No, no, I haven't seen him. Hmm, why don't you look for him by the statue of the goddess? You'll have a good view of the whole town from way up there. Uh, yeah, but where is that? The north of Skyloft. Okay. Okay, I can do that. I would like a, like a little compass or something, because they keep telling me to go to the north and south sides of town. <laughs> yeah, this gate is open now, so it's a bit easier to get through. Hey, Link! Over here! I have some information about your loft wing, come over here! I love information about my loft wing. Over over here? Oh, down there. Yeah. Hey Link, I was just looking for you. I heard your loft wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this, when I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Aww. I'm so sorry, Link. I really wanted to tell you, but if Bruce found out I told you... <sighs> Sounds like Bruce forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. Them the truth. A little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Gruce and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, Link, since I tried to sneak away. Gruce and his gang grabbed me. They said that if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. Sounds like Gruce and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Wait, let's take a look at your map. That's it, right there. I think it means the waterfall marked here with X. Okay. Uh, Forgive me, Link. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. Alright. Oh. One more thing, Link. If you're going out to the waterfall, remember that there are some dangerous things there. Creepy crawly things. You'll need to carry a sword. I think I saw the Knight Commander go into the sparring hall a while ago. You should go ask him if you can borrow one. 
I believe this is not the Skyward Sword, it's just a sword, like a temporary one. <gasps> hey, it's Link! So you still want to get in some sword practice even though today is the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. The sword is in the back room. Go on back there and get it. I'll be here for a while, so if there's anything you don't understand about handling a sword, go ahead and ask. I think this may have been added in this version of the game. I don't think you get a sword this early. I think you have to get the Skyward Sword. But I might be misremembering. Because yeah, I didn't really play the previous one very thoroughly. A practice sword. Fairly sharp blade. Okay, so... So yeah, as you can see, uh, Link holds the sword in their right hand. Despite being left-handed. It is infuriating. <sighs> okay, let's go to the waterfall. Hey, Link! Oh. Yeah, the, the loft wing. So yeah, the central gimmick of the game is that you can swing your sword like using the motion controls and it matches what you do, in theory. Except it sometimes doesn't. There we go. Sort of works. Might take some getting used to. <sighs> okay, so we want to go over the waterfall now. I think it's probably this sort of direction. Yeah, it looks about right. Kind of fun. Okay, I guess this part was in the game, I just didn't remember it. Because, yeah, I didn't really play this one very thoroughly. Really. <gasps> My loft wing! I'm to hold my sword in the wrong hand. Treasure. 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 
<laughs> For red rupee. You got a jelly blob. Uh, all right. I'll pretend to care. Wait, is my money max at 79? No, it's going up, okay. It looked like it had- it didn't go up, but I was confused. Gotta cut the grass! That's what swords were invented for, right? Give me a lot of money right at the beginning. Kind of weird. Uh, okay. Hey. Is... Zelda, Link! Hello. Hey, Link, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? Oh no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Gruce and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Huh? Who, who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh. Sorry, Link. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Look, there he is! No doubt about it, that's your loft wing, Link. So here it's making you swing your sword in particular ways so that you can cut the ropes. Give you a bit of a opportunity to try the different kinds of swings. Hello little Loftwing. Hello. You should hurry, Link. Now that your loft wing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling. Almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say it's an empty, barren place, even there's nothing at all down below. But I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the Surface. The old texts describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. Wait. Hang on, you hang out on birds all the time, like you fly all over the place, you haven't tried going down through the clouds, ever? Come on. <laughs> Thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our loft wings won't fly through the cloud barrier, what? Come on, that doesn't make sense. I can't help imagining the wild things not be waiting below. Someday I want to see for myself. <laughs> oh, sorry Link, we don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Sleep off the edge and press down. Don't worry about falling, your bird will catch you for sure this time.
Okay, so this is motion control. I'm tilting like the... Link, let's run your bird through the basics just to make sure he's not hurt. You can fly your bird in any direction. When it's headed upwards, it'll slowly lose speed. When you want to speed up, direct your bird upward to gain altitude, then drop into a fast dive. So again, gain some altitude, then dive to speed up. Those are the basics of getting your bird up to top speed. So how's he handling? Do you think he's flying alright? I guess. Oh, you meant you like flick upwards to gain height? Okay. I just thought you leaned, you tilted upwards, like, like a plane. <laughs> that makes more sense. While riding your loft wing, you can press left, right at any time to go to the basic controls again. Okay. Which is an attack that gives you a burst of speed as well as slow down when you need to. Now uh, try to and see how they feel. Okay, that makes more sense. My bird's fine. My, my bird is fine. Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Link, but your loftman looks like he's flying great. Rather than those, I probably worry about your birds. Let's go give him the good news. Good news, everyone. My bird was kidnapped. But, but I got him. I got him back from the kidnappers. <laughs> the loft ring really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy has been through this morning. I'm gonna fly back and tell Father what happened. Hey, Bruce. Oh. Well, well, if it isn't Link. What around the plaza has you found that dumb bird of yours? Well, that's just great, because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the practice warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. Been waiting forever for the race to start, and they delay it for you. I don't get it. The big flake gets special treatment. <laughs> You're almost a man. No, I'm not. Nit, you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. What? Shut up. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? And don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Ooh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ooh. You must think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, uh, don't you? Bruce has been going on forever about how he's going to be the one to be with Zelda. He's probably got his pompadour and a ruffle about her. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to bring it, break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm going to be the one to claim that sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way I was going to let some scrawny clown snatch the prize from me. Oh yes, that sailcloth, Zelda's sailcloth, will be mine. Duh. <laughs> oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yup, I can see it now. First I win the big race, and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. Oh, okay, stop, please stop talking. I've had enough. I've, I've had enough. Uh -huh. How to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? <laughs> uh, blah, 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 okay. I, 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 I've, I've honestly had enough of this. <laughs> <sighs> Shut up, Goose. Hey! 
Okay, wing ceremony, uh, race time. Okay, let's, let's go. In the ring ceremony, uh, could be out link, not a concern. Uh, I assume the rules are that we have to do a race. Okay, so we have to catch the bird, alright. Uh, no. Uh... Okay, I. I, I... So misogynistic? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Alright, well, whatever. so far behind everyone. Yeah, go forward. not very easy to steer, in case that wasn't clear. <laughs> and Groot is gonna cheat. Okay, there we go, done. <laughs> hey Link. I mean Zelda. I'm Link. Wasn't that the ceremony? Didn't we just do it? Seriously, how did she learn to play the harp so quickly? She's apparently never seen one before today. <laughs> I have so many questions. Uh, cool. Blessings of the Goddess, awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. The sail, the, the thing she's been wearing is is the sailcloth. Okay, that makes sense. I, 
I got the silk cloth. Smells nice too. Has she's been wearing it? Uh... Okay, so basically it's a paraglider, I think. I think the reason it's important is we can go below the cloud line using it. Uh... No? Oh, thank God. Why did I go over there? Was I, was I holding the controller wrong? Okay, okay, got it. <sighs> yeah, I am amazing, and it took me three tries. It just, it just happened. Alright. Is she about to get kidnapped? Is, is this like really cheesy rom com stuff gonna stop? Thank goodness. What's going on? Okay, Zelda got kidnapped. We can rescue her now. Here we go. <sighs> Finally. Think? I'm waiting for you. I'm as come for you to awaken. Also, I am a sword. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Think. <sighs> oh no, she got eaten by a wormy. Ah, you're awake. Oh. 
When your loft wing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. <laughs> but Link, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, I'm talking. Link can talk in this game. Okay. A black tornado, you say? It was more brown, but all right. That was no ordinary storm. <laughs> you must not push yourself, you're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem... off? Mm. Link's talking again. Link is a silent protagonist. What's happening? About the surface, then. And you've been having dreams about a great mission? How interesting. Ooh. Mm. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. We're concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, Daybreak is yet to arrive. It'll be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dead of night, in the dark of night. It will also be very dangerous. I think this is when I get my actual sword. Like, at night time. Rest now, Link. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. And we may maybe we'll play, like, for another like half hour or so and make it a 90 minute video i just want to like get into the actual game rather than the really cheesy opening <laughs> the, the the real really weird mean girls romantic comedy stuff okay yeah we are now being summoned by the sword Where are you going? Come back here, nerd. skip this scene like it's, it's just me being rescued by that guy who's apparently there all the time monsters around everywhere okay oops all right you meant to get onto this bit me way across all right for this stamina now let's do it Yeah, I've already done this this section. Like I did it earlier by accident. Actually, there weren't any enemies, and now there are. So it's a little different, but it's not like meaningfully different.
Not sure why she made us go this way to get to the goddess statue, but alright. We could have just taken the stairs, I'm pretty sure. Chosen by my creator. I've been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. P is the name I was given. It was created for a single purpose long before the recorded memory of your people. Yeah, basically she's light hope. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to ca carry. Come, Link, you must take up this sword as the one chosen by my creator. It is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical you would exhibit some apprehension. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information is a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <laughs> and this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? <laughs> it seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Get it? Get it? Sword. Raise it skyward. Skyward Sword. Get it? You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Mariga. Recognition complete, master. Mariga. Link, my master. Hey. <laughs> Link. I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great, great apocalypse will wait, wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. Started days ago, the sword that I've kept secret all these years began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first I was sure I was seeing things, here alone with the sword, there was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guarded by one born of the blade, one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears the critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. 
The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is they who possesses an unbreakable spirit. They shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is their destiny. With the spirit of the blade at their side, they shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. <laughs> The father's old text talk about a place called the surface. Uh, yeah, we've seen this already. Flashback. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, maiden, honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach you, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. Emerald tablet, heavy stone, feels very old. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Master Link, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier, and use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down to summon me when you require my assistance. Link, listen a moment. The nature of the Great Apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. Whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this fee says is true, Zelda is alive, alive and no doubt coming to terms whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. If you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Link, especially down there. If you decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it's only the start of your journey. Please, see it through and prove the legend's true. Okay. You do your people proud, Link. Dawn is drawing near. It's been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? A great journey before you, Link, and those clothes, they didn't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will provide much more suitable, for, prove much more suitable for your long journey. You better change before you go. <laughs> Guess what the uniform is? Yeah. Hmm. 
that green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the colour. Oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting colour for you, as though you were born to wear it. Take care on your journey, and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I'll return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information with the ancient texts. You're always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Okay, so Link is now wearing Link, a Link outfit. The problem I have with this uh, this game is supposed to be, if I show you the box art here, the epic beginning of The Legend of Zelda. This is supposed to be the first game in the timeline. And Link is wearing, you know, the traditional Link outfit. The problem with that is that Minish Cap is supposed to be the beginning of the Zelda timeline. That's the game where Link gets this hat. Um, that's, that's where the tradition of Link wearing this particular type of green hat comes from. And that game came out years before this one, and already established that that's where Link's, like, attire came from. And also sort of had the creation of the Master Sword, arguably. But this one does that too, so I don't know. I just have opinions. <laughs> uh, yeah I do, I look like a knight. Oh, did you take something with me? The adventure pouch. Uh, cool. <laughs> oh, potions and a shield? Okay. Yeah, I should probably buy a shield, at least. I kind of just want to get to the surface so I can talk about another problem with this particular game. Uh, but I should grab a shield before I do, probably. Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs indicate this created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution that descending to the surface armed only with a sword would result in a decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potions at the bazaar in preparation for your journey. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about to do that. Thanks, V, for telling me to do the thing I'm about to do. Uh, shields. My shields. Uh, I don't think I want to talk to the fortune teller. These are potions. Is that a shield? That's a shield! <laughs> okay, um, the wooden shield sounds pretty terrible. I would prefer to buy a proper metal shield, but I don't think I can this early in the game. I'm just going to grab some potions, because the game told me to. I don't think I have an empty bottle. Can I buy one? Someone else selling bottles? Hi. No, you're, you're just an item storage place. Bombs, arrows... Uh, these are all, like, reusable... Uh, like, uh, breakable things that you might need to buy again. I don't know if I can actually buy an empty bottle at this point. Do you have one? Oh, yeah. Can you repair my stuff? I'm not interested. Master Link! This treasure like just a uh, chosen hero. You don't know how to open it? Okay. So I assume we get to unlock those later in the game. I guess I'll just go without potions, because I don't have any way to carry them. Oh well. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> 
Um, I was trying to use my loft wing. I don't know why I needed to be rescued. Quest down. Maybe I need to jump off a particular place in order to activate my loft wing. I don't know why that would be the case though. It'd make a whole lot of sense. You know, we're jumping off these things makes the loft wing work. So I guess I'll do this. There we go, that's better. And I get it. Oh, my loft wing's not coming with me? Oh, okay. Eh, let's just make it two hours. I just, I just want to get an idea of the first, like, actual area of the game. I also want to talk about a problem with the game that can be illustrated now, basically. Master Link, we've arrived. This is the fabled surface that has long been part of Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Okay. Please proceed with caution, Master. Please stop calling me Master, it's fucking weird. In track with this thing? very imprecise about the kinds of swings you want to be making. Like, it's very picky, is what I meant. Probably a better word. Like, I, I wanted to be swinging vertically, because I could see I was supposed to swing vertically because of the way the, the thing's mouth was open, but it, it just wouldn't let me.
was the cutscene, I guess. hole here. <laughs> Don't know why. Just, just a hole. Doesn't seem to mean anything. I'm supposed to go down there? I'm guessing yes. Young one. Child of destiny descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess Skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Guess that's a good thing. Maybe. Oh, it, it made all those holes into... dusts? Master Link, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I've also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain this process to you? Uh... Sure, I don't know how it works. As you wish, Master. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to search for using the tip of the sword. The nearer you are to an object in emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. Response for vibration and sound. Purple pointer? Okay. Hold up and select Zelda as your dowsing target and then point in the direction you wish to search. Alright. That way, I guess. Behind this door that I saw, saw earlier? Yeah, I thought so. to check if I got any more options besides saving, but it looks like you don't. Uh. Okay, so we're doing some more of this <gasps> gust related puzzling by the looks of things. Uh, hello. Oh.
this chest or just need a different one? Oh, revitalizing potion. Neat. I think there is another chest. Are we on this side? I think it's just the one I got. Okay. Oh, on we go. Yeah, save the bacon. I guess I did it. Skull. Fabulous. Oh. Welcome. Oh. Hey. Yep, it's true. Mm -hmm. no, I'm good. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are what I want to talk about. Uh, some of the bird statues in the game have this option to warp you back to Skyloft. And from Skyloft, you can go fairly directly to each of the different areas in the game. Like, it's sort of a hub, um, because you keep opening up holes in the sky to drop down the different parts of the game world. At least I think that's the way it works. And, like, that's how the original game worked. But, this version of the game, if we bring up the, the box here again, you probably can't read it because... It's a tiny, tiny little thing in the bottom here, but it says, if you use the Zelda and Loftwing amiibo sold separately, you can change at will between the sky and the ground. In other words, instead of having to find one of these statues, you can instantly teleport back up to Skyloft from anywhere. If you pay an additional fee to get this particular random piece of plastic. <sighs> Nintendo. What they could have done is have it, you press the fee button, and fee gives you an option to, to teleport. But like in uh, Twilight Princess, which is just because that's exactly what Minda does, and that game is great, and has some problems, but you know, it's, it's better than this one. <laughs> but instead, they put it behind an additional paywall because Nintendo bad... And, like, it literally says on the box that you should buy this extra amiibo to play this, this game that you have already bought. Which is just absolutely shameless. I came in? It is. Okay. Lost track of where I was going. <sighs> so, yeah, um... Oh, hi, Fee. In the sky at will. Using a certain amiibo figure, you can return to the sky from anywhere on the surface and come back to where you left. Please call me anytime you would like to use an amiibo. 
Enable disabled amiibo usage from the options. Yeah. So, if you're a normal person who's playing the game normally, you have to walk to one of these. Which are positioned, you know, every so often throughout the game. But if you happen to to be to have bought an amiibo, um, which I don't have, otherwise I would. I'll switch it to on. Yeah, if you call fear, use a certain amiibo on the server. You can turn to the sky from anywhere, and when using the sky, you can turn to the same spot on the server that you left from. <sighs> they could have just made that a feature of the game this time. Like, it's a massive, like, quality of life improvement over the original version. But they decided to put it behind an additional paywall of buying this one specific figurine. <sighs> and they have Fee talk about it, which is just very obnoxious to my verisimilitude, so that sucks. Can I push this? Yeah, I can. Okay. <sighs> Anyway, yeah, yeah, I have complaints about Skyward Sword HD. Link is not supposed to be right-handed, this is not supposed to be the first game in the timeline, and that should be a quality of life feature that's built into this remake. It shouldn't require you to buy the fucking amiibo. I have en entered Farron Woods, I know. <sighs> Farron Woods. I guess I'll go till about two hours and then I'll wrap it up. Plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including this massive tree. It's logical the lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species to the region. Barren woods, there you go. Looking at the probabilities, it is extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in the area. I recommend you continue to use your dowsing ability to search for her. Notice this bird statue. Oh, it does go to the sky. Okay. Yeah, so you gotta find these bird statues is the point, and there aren't that many of them, but if you're literally anywhere on the surface, you can scan the amiibo. And that'll work. <sighs> Can I reach that? No, it's a little bit too high. You think they were sort of experimenting with the kind of things that end up in Breath of the Wild? But they didn't quite get things right in this game. There we go. Oh no, a little friend. You okay, little friend? Penguin, sort of. Huh? I'm quiet. Now there's a green one. I didn't even know they came in green. Don't hurt me, Kuweep. I have a feeling I can't follow them because of this, this slope. Oh, no, I can. Okay. I thought it because of the way it was sliding, it might be just too much. I need to go a different way. Understand what's going on here.
Yeah, we're gonna need bombs to break this zone then, I assume. I don't have them yet, though. I have detected an exceptionally strong dowsing response in this area. She will continue searching the vicinity. Ooh, fine then. I think I just made a shortcut. Oh, and I got a Magatama. Yeah, that's like back to what back to the sealed grounds, I think. Why is that part of the tree red like that? Does that mean it have mon had money in it and I had to cut it there to get the money? Not sure. Whatever. Anyway, you can climb up here now, get a bit of a shortcut. Apparently that thing is Zelda. You're Zelda apparently, hello. Am I supposed to hit it with my sword? I feel like I shouldn't. Like, I assume they won't like that. Master, we've obtained new information on Zelda's current status. Information indicates that she was assailed by monsters but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. I have marked the position of the Kikui known as Machi. Please confirm your current location. Furthermore, my analysis suggests that this Kikui most likely produces a false positive dowsing reaction due to previous direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, I theorize there is an 85% chance that the Kikui Elder will ge also generate a dowsing reaction for the same reason. I propose you continue dowsing to search for Zelda. Okay, am I allowed to keep going now? I think I'm gonna go this way because uh, Fee complained when I went this way earlier. Is where there's a rupee hidden inside the tree. I don't really understand why that would make the tree glow, but whatever. I'm, I'm trying really hard to like hit where the glowing part is, but you can't just do it directly. You have to just keep cutting the tree until it eventually happens. <sighs> well, we're coming up on about two hours. I think I probably want to wrap up shortly, but I've already shown my main issues with this game, I think. Um, at least this, partic this particular version of the game. Uh, but, you know, also the game in general. Because some of these issues were in the original. Uh... There we go. 
so fiddly to get the right swing. I don't know why. I jump that? That's a bit far. Yeah, I thought so. Hey, where's my shield gone? Did it break already? Or don't have equipped? Oh my god. God. Yeah, all right. Wait. Where am I at? Okay, I don't think it set me back very far. mostly just want vertical and horizontal swings, at least for those guys, and it's so hard to get the right type of swing. I don't understand why it's that difficult. How do I deflect my shot? It's not happening. Maybe I can't do it yet. Like, normally you would deflect it by, you know, uh, bouncing it back with your shield, but it doesn't seem to be working. Can you just swing my sword instead? Doesn't look like it. I have no idea what to do with that. Like, it hit the shield, but it didn't, it didn't deflect. Like, it just damaged my shield. I don't get it. And my shield is still damaged. Seriously? It took one hit, and that took out half of the shield's, like, durability meter. Oh my god. Oh, that's how you get up there. Okay, that makes sense now. <sighs> anyway. So this is Skyward Sword. Um, it's, it's a game that was weird and experimental and un unpolished, and it's still weird and experimental and unpolished, even though this is an HD re-release. <laughs> I'm not sure why it didn't become less weird and experimental and unpolished when they literally did the game again, but it, it didn't. There you have it. I can see you. What are you doing there? Hello. Can I talk to you? Hello. It doesn't look like it. Are you the elder? You're probably not. Yeah, the elder's over there somewhere. Alright. Oh well. Um, I guess I'm more or less done for this video. Um, you got a sense of what the early parts of the game are like. You got a sense of the motion controls being... Actually, I should probably switch off the motion controls and see what button-only controls are like. I don't know how to play with the button-only controls, so, um, what do I do? Okay, so the way it works is that the right stick, uh, works as your sword. So you sort of flick it sideways or vertically, depending on what you want to do. Interesting. How do I use my shield, though? No idea.
Oh, okay. You, you click the left stick to use the shield. Probably a lot simpler to play this way. But you don't get camera control because the right stick has been mapped to your sword. Uh, so depending on how you feel about camera control, this could be better or it could be worse. <laughs> and the Y button is still mapped to resetting your gyro even though you're not really using it, so that's fantastic. It's alright, I guess. I, I like being able to control my camera and control my sword, though. Like, they could have made it work, you know, essentially like uh, previous games did, when you use button only controls, where you get a horizontal swing by default and you get a vertical swing uh, if, you if you're, like, moving forward as you do it. That worked fine in Wind Waker, and that game's really playable. Apart from some things that they actually did fix in the HD remake, unlike in this game. <laughs> oh, jeez. Did you just meant to use Skyward Strikes on, like, everything? They can hit airborne enemies and stuff. <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, I guess that's about all I gotta say about Skyward Sword. It's, it's a game. Um, and they made some really tasteless decisions in this remake, uh, that I don't like. Hello. You don't detect a strong dowsing response corresponding with Zelda in this area. We best move your search to another location. Uh, save real quick. Yeah, it, I just, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's, it's nice that you can control your, your sword now without having to, you know, swing your hand around. Probably more accessible this way. That, that is an improvement. But when you're talking accessibility, there are more problems than that. Um, there's, there's this problem uh, that it's this hand that has the sword in it. And a lot of people, like Link, are left-handed. <laughs> <sighs> it's just, it's just, it just bothers me. It just really bothers me. Grab that. I'll grab that Magatama. What's this thing? I'll put away. Right. Doesn't seem to do anything, so whatever. Yeah, I see now I have camera control again, which I did not have before because that's how the game works. You get camera control or you get sword control, not both. <sighs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I wasn't too heinously negative about everything. I mean, I know I'm heinously negative about everything, but I hope I wasn't, you know, too heinously negative about everything. <laughs> oh, jeez. I will probably keep playing this just because, you know, it's in the household. I can play it. I can give it a try. I don't want to recommend that you get it. Because Nintendo bad. And money... Money grubbing and failing to provide really basic options that a game such as this 
that is so dependent on the, the sword hand. <sighs> and like, would be fucking trivial. You could you could easily make Link hold things in opposite hands. That would not be hard to do. Like, I, I am a software developer. I can say this with authority. It would not be hard at all. <sighs> and yet. <sighs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope... I hope... Uh, I hope Nintendo are eaten and indie devs acquire all of their IP and start making really cool stuff. Because that sounds real good to me. No, no, somewhere else again. This is just in the woods. <sighs> anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!